that that's the real thing i just want it out of here you know any reason or whatever i'm just happy to get rid of it Morning. Hi there. I see you got best offer on your bike. What are you hoping to get out of it? Uh, you know what? I don't even know. I, I just make an offer. Which okay. is the Schwinn new bike? Yeah. Okay. It's got to put the put pedal and that on. Gotcha. Okay, because it it was six ninety nine, and uh, I have no idea. My husband actually has one exactly okay. like this, all yeah. made up. But the thing of it is, is my daughter is going to. Get it? Yeah. And she changed her mind. Okay. <laughs> so we didn't finish putting it up. So somebody has to take it downstairs. Okay. <laughs> okay. That that's the real thing. I just want it out of here. Yeah. So you know any reason whatever, I'm just happy to get rid of it. Okay. Well, let me give it some thought. I'll be looking around sure. a little bit. Sure. A top and bottom sheet. It's okay. A twin bed. What are you asking for these? Uh, let's see, it's the top and bottom, and that would be a dollar for dollar. this. Dollar. All right, we'll do that. That's Woody Woodpeckers. That's, uh, that would be um, the same, but this does, uh, only has the, the bottom sheet gotcha. and two pillowcases. You want to put your... You doing a dollar on these two? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do these two. Okay. Thank you. I've only got one single, but I'm just going to give you a five for the pair. Oh, if, you sure? Yeah, don't okay. worry about it. That's a good deal. I think I'm going to pass on the bike, but I appreciate it. Okay. I don't sure. think you'll have too much trouble selling it. Somebody should probably jump on that. Well, you never know. This is it. For this. I'm just going to do it tomorrow and that's it. Do you have all the um, everything. The screws everything. to put that back uh, on? Oh, I have the directions, everything. <clears throat> do you? It comes with it. Okay. It's brand new. Tell you what, let me leave you my number. My name and number, and if it doesn't sell, give me a call. Well, what would you, what would you want for an offer? I mean... I was kind of thinking 50 bucks. No, thank you. I'll ask my husband. Okay, sure. Sure. Um, your yeah, you got a p pen and paper? Yeah, and she's got some other things for me up there. <laughs> it's like 46 stores. I owe you for the vase, too. This guy? Which I love. That's okay. Summer, and you're like, oh. 86 yeah. There's 100. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Hey guys, it is Friday afternoon. I went to two sales today. One garage sale and one estate sale. It is November 4th. Is that what the date is? Yeah, I think so. November 4th. So there's just not that many sales <laughs> right now. Garage sales are pretty much done. Um, surprisingly, there's five or six tomorrow that I'm going to go to. So I'll make a video on that. But yeah, it's pretty much just going to be like estate sales, thrift stores, and that kind of thing. Moving on, you know, until like springtime. But I did find some cool stuff today. I got it all pulled out. I'm going to show you what I found. At the garage sale I went to, I got 
two sheet sets. Um, she was only asking a dollar a piece, but I only had like a single and a five, so I went ahead and gave her a five dollar bill because that's still a great deal for all this. Um, the first one is F. Warren and Company. Pretty sure this is Beatrix Potter. So this one has, I think this is a pillowcase and just like a fitted sheet. Couldn't find any kind of comps on these. I think these are pretty rare. That doesn't necessarily mean they're going to have value. Any like themed, um, like character sheet sets typically do pretty well uh, if they're in okay condition. So I went ahead and picked these up. Same with these. These are Hanna-Barbera. I'm pretty sure they're Hanna-Barbera because we've got Woody Woodpecker. Um, I think I saw Yogi Bear. Not sure what that character is. Um, this has everything. I think this has the pillowcases, the sheets, and everything. Again, couldn't find any kind of like soul comps on that, but I think I'll do pretty well. I'm probably going to price this whole set at like 30 bucks. And then maybe the Beatrix Potter, like 2025, since it doesn't have everything. She also had a Schwinn exercise bike there. Um, she just had a picture of it. And like one of the panels was like disassembled and needed to be put back on. And it's a really nice bike. It's like the more modern Airdyne. I've sold a lot of those Airdynes over the years. Used, you know, I can maybe get 150, maybe 200, something like that. So I wasn't thrilled about that bike because it sounded like I needed to carry it downstairs. And those things are not light. I'm not even sure if it would have fit in my car at the time. And there was a little bit of work to be done about, you know, like reassembling the thing. So I didn't really want to buy it. So I threw out that offer of 50 bucks um, and she was going to run it by her husband. And I left my number with her. So maybe she'll call back. We'll see. When I left that sale, I went to an estate sale and they had 20% off day. And I got a handful of things. They had a bunch of old black and white pictures. I got four bags of them with the discount. They cost me 16 bucks, and there's a ton of them. There's definitely over 100. They said the family owned um, Howard's Pharmacy, and I found a couple old photos of Howard's Pharmacy. Here's like a Easter candy display. Here's the storefront. What you guys want to look for when you're looking at old pictures is topic. So if it's just like a normal family picture, there's really, you know, no collector value there. But if you find um, different things like Cars, bikes, fishing, like that's what I found in here. So we've got quite a few old fishing pictures. Here's an Easter picture, some more fishing. This one's pretty funny. This is a little girl pushing her, I think it's a French bulldog <laughs> in a baby stroller. But yeah, lots of fishing pictures. So I thought these were pretty cool. A couple of them are even like boats out on the water. These aren't super valuable, but when you line them up, you can get a little bit of money for them. I just love looking at old pictures, so I had to jump on those. I got this rotodent rotary instrument in the box for 20 bucks. I pulled it out, and it doesn't look like it's ever been used. I'm not sure that I'll sell it as new, maybe just gently used. I found uh, the same exact one on eBay, sold for $100 plus shipping. Picked up a couple books. I got this yearbook for, I think they were $2 with 20% off, so $1.60. This is from McMurray College for Women from 1950. I was hoping there'd be some famous alumni in there, but that wasn't the case. Honestly, I can't recommend getting yearbooks, guys. <laughs> They're really slow sellers. They're kind of heavy. They take up a little bit of space, but I just like vinyl. I like going through them. It's kind of like going back in time for me. It's just something I like to pick up. Also got this uh, 1959 Arizona Highways. I didn't know what it was at the time, but it's actually... A magazine where they put the entire years of the, the entire year of magazines in one book. Uh, I found one from 1963 that sold for like $16 plus shipping. Picked up this pitcher. They had it priced at 50, so with the discount it cost 40 bucks. The brand is Belik Willits. I'm probably mispronouncing that. And there's something written down here. Kramer, September 14th, 1899. So this is a really old piece. When I looked up the um, brand, I looked up picture, I saw one sell for $1,000. Uh, that one had like some kind of like sterling or something on it. So obviously not the same one I have. Mine has roses. And a lot of the ones I was seeing had grapes. So it was really hard to get an idea of what this thing might be worth. I saw one sell for 75 Obviously the one for 1000 I think one sold for maybe around 40 bucks. So prices are all over the place. I'm probably going to try to price mine around 100 bucks. We'll see if I can get that. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.